Hey friends, David Shirey, author of Rare Confidence. It's out and it's available to you at rareconfidence.com. Here we are with another edition of Viewer Mail Friday. Over the last few months, you've had some great questions. We've got a couple more great ones today. Let's get right to it, shall we? Question number one comes from Angela of Long Beach, California. And Angela wants to know, David, what do you think about asking my boss if I can work from home? I have three kids and it would make life a whole lot easier. Angela, it's a great question. I would say to you, rather than ask your boss if you can work from home, ask your boss if you can sit down that you'd like to have a meeting with him or her. And in the meantime, develop a plan, a rock solid strategy so that you're going to be able to accomplish your boss's goals and at least do as well as you're doing right now on your job, but working virtually. And when you get together, then present that plan, be persuasive, give some benchmarks 30, 60, or 90 days down the road. Let's see how it goes. And if it's a forward-thinking company, there's a good chance they will let you. However, many companies don't let employees do that because then it sets a precedent. And there's also some jobs that don't lend itself to that. You haven't told me exactly what it is that you do. Uh, I'm led to believe that you may be in sales, and salespeople can work virtually, although there is something said to being in the office and being around others and feeling that energy. Great question, Angela. Question number two today comes from Ian in the Bronx. Ian wants to know, David, I've been a teacher for 25 years. Circumstances, however, dictate that I make a change. How do I get a job in sales? Ian, I've got a whole chapter in the book on say these words to get that job and then excel at it. But building upon that, being a teacher for 25 years, I guarantee that you've had to sell your concepts and your ideas and your theories to other educators as well and especially students over the years. Those skills are transferable. You have to be able to demonstrate to the hiring manager as such. Also, anytime you can demonstrate a rock-solid work ethic that you're coachable and teachable, I'd hire you. Great question, Ian. And the last question today comes from Mick in College Station, Texas. And Mick wants to know, David, why do they call you Doc? Mick, if I told you, I'd have to kill you. Thanks for the questions. Have a great weekend, everybody. We'll do this again next week. What a feel.